take this down to basics in the sense of, you know, how do I even get embeddings? Where do I even get embeddings? And I feel like, you know, Jackie, you might be one that can really answer this question. Yeah. Uh, so how can we get embeddings? Really? Yeah. It's from a lot of different um, kind of models, honestly. So you have like deep learning models. Uh, if you train them, you can get like the second last layer or, or uh, even the third last layer. Uh, you can actually use that uh, as embeddings. Also, on top of that, one thing I really wanted to talk about was actually, uh, yeah, like um, explaining embeddings. A way we, because uh, we talk to non-technical people all the time, uh, we have a really we unique way of explaining it is uh, comparing it to, to DNA. So uh, it's kind of like when you think about DNA, your DNA is going to be very similar to your parents' uh, DNA. Uh, there's a saying that says like, you know, DNA is the code of life. Uh, we, we like to think of vector as the, the code of unstructured and complex data. Oh, I love um, that. I love that. That's great. The DNA comparison is awesome. That also gets right into the similarity kind of 